Hello everyone, welcome to the episode of I'm Midnight. I'm Midnight, and today we're going to be talking about O9 Women. O9 Women is a plus size Korean clothing brand um, that has an online website and an in-person store, and I did go there when I was in South Korea. Why are we talking about this? Because I Ben said I was going to make a video about all the places that I went to um, in clothing, clothing wise, clothing wise. Um, in South Korea to help people who want to shop in South Korea, who want to travel to South Korea, who want to buy clothes in South Korea, and trying to fit into the South Korean aesthetic. Okay, I'm trying. I'm gonna. I'm here to help y'all out because it's really hard to find plus size clothing. Like, it's 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 exceedingly difficult for no reason. So make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. And follow me on my social media sites. It's at I'm Midnight. Instagram and TikTok. That's all I got right now. My link tree down below. You can click on that. It'll take you to both places and it gives you the option to donate if you guys feel so inclined and you guys like my content and you want to go above and beyond, you can donate and I really will appreciate it. Besides that, let's get started with the video. So guys, I got off of Exit 3 and now I'm looking for online women. I'm in Hapjong. The weather is so fucking nice. I'm breathing heavy because I just came up the stairs, you know, I'm fat. So I'm struggling. But the weather is so nice here. Um, like today, it's like windy. So I'm not like sweating a bunch. And it's like the afternoon, so it's not as hot. Hit the perfect time to go outside. But if you hear like a lot of like background noise, it's just buzz because there's so many buses and it's pretty windy so it's pretty loud. So I was going the wrong way. Or at least maybe I was going the right way but then I went past it. Like my eyeshadow was cute when I was doing it. And it's not that cute anymore but fuck it. I could have worn like a full face of makeup today. But I didn't know that it would be so, um, like, cool. The weather feels so nice. I'm so used to, like, sweating my ass off from head to toe. So, this is like a happy queen getting. Okay, I gotta check the map again because I don't know where the fuck I'm going. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, Only Women has a website. You can go online to the website and you can search up their clothes and if you like Korean style brands and you want to look at plus size clothing or what their full like outfit situation is looking like you can go to the website Onan Women. However if you're in Korea or you're going to Korea and you'd like to shop in person um, they do have a location that I was able to find which I believe is their flagship store. I'll put the address here and here and also down below. I'm not even going to try to read it off. It's not, I'm just not even going to try. But it's on the fourth floor and it's right off of exit three. So when you um, look up the directions, I believe the last train I took was the, the number two. But I'm not sure. Um, it's located in the Tools Woman Hapsung branch. And like I said, it's on the first floor. And so legitimately right off of exit three, it's right there. So they're open Monday through Sunday from 11 to 9 from my understanding. And um, yeah, you can tell instantly that it is a nice, cute, plus size location. And I'm about to show you guys how it was finding the location. It's right here. I legitimately got off at the right exit and walked through right past it. This. Oh, it really is plus size. Oh my God. Okay, y'all, so this is another video that I'm going to be gracing you guys with my voiceover presence. Okay, this is 09 Woman. And as you can tell by the previous clip, I was shocked, okay? As soon as you walked in, you see a nice display of shoes. I'm assuming that you're going to go and ask them for your size. Um, you see all the clothes. They're all color coordinated and organized by the type of clothing that they are, which is actually something that I do in my closet, so I really love that. Um, besides that, it was definitely filled to the brim with people coming in and out and shopping there. And so I'm going to be honest, I felt really awkward because it was my first time recording in an actual store by myself and it was so many people there and I didn't want to record them. 
and also I'm just black so like it was just weird but I immediately started to look at all the clothing options and everything that they offered so this is a very much the style of you know I'm a teacher I have a nine to five I have a real job I clock in I clock out type of vibe it's like I don't want to call it business casual because some of the clothes are business casual but it's very much like classic like I don't know what to how to explain it it just screams I have a job that's what it screams I don't know what other words to use to explain this type of style very much Korean style clothing so if you guys like this style of clothing you can go online even if you're in America and you can buy um, from them they do ship internationally and on the website you can you know shop way more options now this was me I was looking cute that day you know what I'm saying and it was really it was nice it was gloomy outside and during this time it was so hot every single day and I was sweating profusely so I was really proud of myself now getting on to the price of these items the items are very much quality they're giving very much quality um, however everything is about 25,000 won plus so about $25 plus 25 30 $40 um, think H&M prices um, going on to the bottoms there was no possible way in living earth that I wasn't be able to fit any pants bottoms um, at any of these stores this one included now I did see some thicker girls here with jeans on so I do know that um, if they do shop here they probably got some jeans from here that they do offer you know a bigger array of sizes than the normal Korean store but definitely not sizes the jeans that I would fit and I have problem finding jeans in Cali so I wasn't expecting that um, now here is a sizing chart so the sizing goes from my understanding medium one two three for the tops and then small medium one two three four for the bottoms but I think they only carry one two and three and one two three and four and so think of one two three and one two three four as like extra large extra extra large three XL four XL so for the bottoms they go to roughly a four XL so if you're around that type of size you'll be able, you might be able to find you like definitely some skirts um, and some bottoms same thing for the tops tops for sure I could fit I walk past the mirror again so I had to look at myself one more time um, definitely tops I'll be able to fit if I get like a big enough size t-shirts were cute they were soft they were good quality the price like I said is more on the pricier side so that's not really me like I'm not yeah I bought just enough clothes to last me for the whole trip you know what I'm saying I'll wear the same outfit every day if I have to um, but they did have some really cool stuff it wasn't really my style they didn't really have anything super edgy um, but they did have some nice items and it was filled with a lot of Korean girls um, shopping here so I thought that was really nice now on the website not only they don't have a sizing chart but for each item they did tell you the size and if you scroll all the way to the bottom it shows you like five or six different girls with different measurements and it tells you what size that they recommend for people with similar body types but they'll be like oh but their measurements are slightly different you should get this size because it'll fit you better so that's pretty much it i really like the place um and you know it's cool it's definitely plus size and i loved it i could have recorded so much more and did so much better but it was my first time going like in the in a store and recording in a store like i've been in stores but i never recorded in the store it was the first time and there was actually a lot of people there so i was trying not to record the people and i was trying not to look weird and i did look weird so it was just like a thing and i was i did better in the other locations but i do apologize now like i said you guys kind of saw what the store looked like um it's very korean styled clothing um more of an a-line shape straight body like straight shape on um, top of clothing uh, when it comes to like skirts and things um so it's not really made for people whose bodies goes more like that it's more for people whose bodies more like a more korean style figure okay, so definitely isn't the cheapest place um all in all out of 10 i rate it I rated a six. There's no possible way I would fit into any bottoms there. And they don't make clothes for me, so that's understandable. Um, but I rated a six because the style for me personally is just not my style. But if that's your style, your teacher, or anything like that, this place would be really cool for you. Not my style. Um, yeah, all in all, it was a cool place. It had a bunch of sizes. The price was, mm, but you know, 
it was a nice place they had a trying room they had bras underwears all types of things shoes so they had a bunch of stuff um for people who are on the more chunkier side of life um out there living it you know what i'm saying so that's pretty much it so is the plus size approved yes it is thank you guys for watching um next video will be a vlog video but the video after that i'll be going to another location and i shot more stuff at this next place i apologize again but anyways thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed um, make sure to like comment share, subscribe to the channel and all the information about the place will be down below anyways guys talk to y'all later did i say subscribe if i did say subscribe subscribe okay link tree below subscribe follow me on instagram tiktok subscribe okay anyways thank you guys talk to y'all later